All right, kids, it's time to go to school. First off, I'd like to throw a shout out there to Toy Shifts for tipping me off on Instagram or personally just texting me or calling me and telling me this shit was on clearance for Black Friday, Cyber Monday or somewhere online that I normally wouldn't have found. He'll track them down. You follow them and then you can take advantage of it. But you got to get there quick because once you post it, they usually sell out. So when he does text me, it is much appreciated. So I think this thing, this is this, this chick was uh, 20 bucks. Dropped down to 10 got her for 50% off. She's not even worth 10 bucks. This is a cool like suited figure I figured I can pop the head pop the hands but make this whoever I wanted to be 20 bucks got it for 10 We're only gonna look at this because we have a Grandmaster 2 pack Which I need to get this thing open anyways because comic-con was a really long time ago I was waiting to get this and I was waiting to get this on clearance because I wanted to save some money Because I knew all this shit was gonna go on clearance someday this thing was like 50 bucks for the two pack, a complete rip off. There's no meek in the figure. I don't know why there's not a meek in the figure. This one also, they give you the same figure again with a figure that you need. That's kind of, so it's 50 bucks for basically one figure. Cause here's the other figure right here. So $50 for one figure. Wait guys, it's gonna go on clearance. I picked this thing up for 20 bucks. Then this one I got for 20 bucks. Some of these, I got this one for 40. It normally goes for 50. This one was like 50 something at GameStop out the door. It's almost 60 bucks. He tipped me off. I got it for 40. Then right after I got it, it went down to 30. That sucks, but that's the nature of the beast. It's comic book stuff. That's stuff that, you know, once it sells out, it usually goes up in value until they remake it. Then it goes back down in value. It's like this. It's like the action figure start stock market. Definitely don't invest in figs because you'll lose 99% of the time unless you're one of those guys that buys it and sells it when it goes up and you just don't care about collecting. Well, then you're just scalping and not really collecting. He also tipped me off on this three pack. I think this thing was going for like 80 bucks. I can't remember if I got it for like 50, 60 bucks, but I know it was at least, I saved at least 20 bucks on this thing. Um, Three figures that you already have, and then they like try to charge you 80 bucks for it. It's a complete ripoff. This two pack, I have to admit, man, I paid full rip on this one. I feel like a dick for doing it. I just didn't see this one going to clearance because all these other ones were sitting on the pegs for a minute. Well, not the comic book ones, but all these movie ones. This one, I saw it, it flew off the shelf. I saw it again, I picked it up. I've never seen it again. I've never seen this thing drop in price. I did pay 50 bucks on that one, but I don't feel good about it. And then you have this one. Oh, this one was definitely cheap. I think it was like 20 bucks. So if you're looking at this, you add up all the savings, you're looking at about $150 in savings. You're thinking 150 bucks. I'd rather have 150 bucks in my pocket than Hasbro's pocket. I'm gonna crack all this shit open. I'm gonna look at it really quick. Let's check it out. All right, here it is, Christmas Eve. I'm still on the grind trying to bang out as many of these videos as possible. This is what you have to do when you take like three months off of the channel. You gotta bang out bulk reviews like this. So you can see all the comparisons are out. All these figures are unboxed. We got a lot to cover. It's Christmas Eve. We're gonna try to get this thing wrapped up so you can get back to your families. I get back to my girlfriend, hang out with my son tomorrow, and then we can play with all the toys that he got. Isn't that the coolest thing ever, that when you have a son, you can buy him toys and you can just pretend like you bought them for him, but you really buy them for yourself? Well, you got bought them for you guys together, and then you can start playing with them. We're going to start right over here. This is the figure is a two-pack, this Havoc and Polaris two-pack. I thought this thing was really awesome. She also comes with fisted hands, which... I never use the fisted hands. I love these hands. It comes with a really awesome magic effect. We've never seen even we've never seen this before. Oh, let me see. Here it is. 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 Um, and that's just the figures that I pulled out just this time for comparison. So Hasbro, come on, man, get a little, just a little bit more creative on the magic accessory. It just you just look look at just look at this like. Every figure out here has the same shitty magic effect. Oh, it's just a little frustrating. You gotta figure this two pack, they try to rip you off and get 50 bucks for this. If you get it at GameStop, it's almost like 60 bucks out the door. Like I said, I got it on clearance. This thing is awesome. I really wanted this. I refused to pay 50 bucks for it, so I got it for 40. She is awesome. Is that the only Polaris figure you ever have? God, I hope not. Hopefully you have this one back here. Because everybody was screaming because we didn't have a Polaris figure. So they went ahead and repainted a figure. And they gave us a Polaris figure. And they did that creative magic effect again. She's really nice. This one is better. This is a suit that I wanted her in when they made this. I was happy because they scratched that Polaris itch. Let's go ahead and show you the boots on that. And this is the itch that really needed to be scratched. We'll check out her... Uh, 
our counterpart. I'm just gonna set all these to the side and burn through this. And then you also got this Havoc with her, which this is the Havoc that I've always wanted. I, it, once again, this crazy magic effect that we've never seen before. Like, just every figure. I thought this one was cool, but I didn't think this was as cool as the one behind him, the one that I'm getting ready to show you. This is the one that I really wanted. This is, like, I love this one. Like, that's the costume I wanted. He's a great figure. Hopefully you guys are able to pick him up on sale. Let me pull out this other one. And do a side by side. This is the first one that they came out. You could tell by how those weird balls are on the on the hips there. Then they turned it into this. And these balls aren't that annoying. This one actually has a butterfly joint. It's a pretty good figure. I like the head sculpt on that with the with that little white thing, whatever you want to call it. Now we're gonna go back here. This is just a figure that I picked up on clearance, uh, Nick Fury before he had the patch. All these black heads, I put it on there. I, I went through all of them. You got a Black Panther head. I don't know what this other one is. Um, yeah, who knows? You put them all on there, the neck kind of disappears. It works. It's kind of a cool figure to put in the background of your action figures. I almost dropped the camera there. I guess I'm just burning through this shit way too quick. Let me get it back up here. And then you have these shitty Captain Marvel figures. The movie suck. Everything about her sucks. She's the most powerful Marvel character ever because she's a strong female. Um, she came in, didn't have to lose a battle, beats everybody, defeats Thanos. She, I mean, she's an end-all, be-all. She's a, women, a woman, so of course she has to be the strongest one. I got this thing on clearance for 10 bucks. I know I remember when this came out, and I was like, she comes with that extra head, the extra fire effect. I definitely kind of like those. And then it has these cool effects that actually go over her fists. Which says something different. It's kind of cool. This is a figure that they decided was so cool they'd just make it three times and repaint it. And, I mean, all these things are on clearance everywhere. So if you look at these other ones, I pulled out these for comparison. Where you can see that they're all the same exact figure. So, do you need all three of them? God, I hope you're smarter than me and you only get one. I like the Mohawk better than the, the Unmasked one. I just, I just, I was insulted by that. Put put her in like the, the mohawk helmet thing. Thought that was cool. Now she's got some dyke haircut because you know that's just Disney and that's how they, that's the image that they wanna they, they wanna create. They can't have like a, a chick be like hot and like wear a bikini that just doesn't work for some reason. Then we're gonna take a quick at this three pack, a quick look at this three pack. You got Quicksilver over here. For you guys that never had a Quicksilver, this is a nice little come up for you. This is the blue one. Oh, I almost knocked them over. I like this head sculpt a lot better with the, like the wings and the hair versus this one with the gray hair. I like the white hair better. I like both of these. I'm glad to have both of these in my collection. This one has a shit ton of articulation, jointed fingers, jointed toes. And then this one, they took it aback a little bit, which I like. I think this thing is over articulated for my taste. It's got the weird balls on the hips, which I can't stand. It's got a good butterfly joint. They had to do a butterfly joint on this one just to try to keep up with this one. So if you didn't feel like spending like 100 bucks on eBay, well, you guys didn't have to because now you got this one. So they put this in a three-pack with two figures that you already have because they know you're going to buy it because they know that you need this figure if you, because this one went up in value. Um, and then they also made a variant of this one, which was kind of hard to find. I actually had to get this at a... Oh, and he does come with extra hands. He comes with fisted hands. This is the repaint of him, the green one. I wonder if they're going to repaint the new one um this one in a green suit and resell them they probably will they love doing the repaints you know he was kind of hard to find i found him at comic con for like really cheap like because some dude had like 50 of these things so i got him for like 15 bucks or something pretty affordable um the three pack is cool for a new quicksilver i didn't feel like i needed a new quicksilver i really liked the old one but apparently they felt like i needed a new quicksilver and then they they had the magneto on here because everybody was complaining when they did the magneto and they put him in this costume instead of this costume because collectors are lazy and they don't want to get on ebay and track this stuff down to get one of those old ones from behind so they put this costume out and i was totally cool with it i was like cool i'm so glad that they didn't make the costume that we already have that's behind it i'm glad that they put him in a new costume to give an unmasked head lots of different head options for this toy i thought that was cool i actually got two of these things i got one on the shelf so i can display one masked and one unmasked i thought it was worth it because he's in a different costume and we all knew that this was going to happen so they repack and re-put him out 
They did give him a new cape, so I was totally cool with him doing it. He's got different arms. You can see like the forearms are different. Are, are they different? Yeah, they are different. Um, the boots are different. So there's enough difference on here to where I'm totally cool with it. And I definitely like this new figure, like, like this new figure. I do like it a lot better than these other. These are the other ones. I have a bunch of, um, a bunch of magnetos in my collection, which I showed you my collection before. So side by side comparison with these two. Yes, this is a definitely an upgrade over these old ones. I definitely like it better. So I'm not too upset to get a new one. Magneto's one of my favorite characters. So he's like a guy that I could just keep buying and buying and buying and buying. And then here's another old one that I had. So is the new one my favorite one? He absolutely is, at least until they make the Mezco one. Then that Mezco one is going to be the end-all, be-all Magneto. I'm really looking forward to that. He also comes with these extra heads which I thought that this head looked kind of stupid, so I went with the head that's on them. These are the heads that come with the black one. These are all going back in the drawer. And then he also comes with some fisted hands. Moving right down, we got the Scarlet Witch. I thought we had some pretty decent Scarlet Witches, but this one, I have to admit, is probably my favorite. Um, the costume is slightly different, but not that different. Let me try to get them all out here. Hold it where you can see them all three at the same time. So this is like the, the older one, which I like this one because it's kind of petite. The head is completely screwed up on that. That thing looks really stupid. Then they made this one and she's like really big. Like she's crazy tall, which I thought that was a good one, but not quite not quite the Scarlet Rich that I was looking for. And then they made this one. And this is my favorite one. I do like this one because it has the flesh tone up top, you know, with like the little slight cleavage and they don't, Disney, they don't play that game anymore. Now all the females got to be fully closed like this. Like they don't want them to be sexy or anything. They want them to be strong, powerful females. You know how they do it. You've heard the social justice warriors spill. So there she is. Is she an improvement above my other ones? I think so. And I'm kind of glad, I'm kind of glad that I got her. And I'm really glad that I got her on clearance and I didn't have to pay full rip for this thing. I think I got like this whole three pack for like 50 bucks or something on Black Friday, Sober, Cyber Monday. Hopefully you guys had the patience or were smart enough to wait and knew because you had to have known that this shit was going on clearance. And then we have this Comic Con two pack with the collector and grandmaster. He comes with two different heads. He didn't wear those goggles very often, so I went ahead and went with this one. Let's take a quick look at him because if you weren't fortunate enough to get him from Comic Con, he comes with the same accessory that you've seen before. They just repackaged it. I thought they killed it. It's an original sculpt. Tons of new stuff on here. I really want the comic book version of the Grandmaster and Collector. The movie shit, God, I like, I like it, but it's just like whatever whenever you do the, um, the, the it's, not, it's not even comparable to the comic book stuff, but the comic book stuff, they don't show you, us any love. It's just a bunch of repaints. The movie stuff, they show you all the, all the love. And then this is the one that comes in the two-pack. He's got a smiley face. The one behind him doesn't have a smiley face. That's pretty much the only difference. Same weapon. And it comes with this pile of blob shit that you're like, yay, get a pile of blob shit. And I only spent like 50 bucks on two figures because it's a con exclusive and I kind of feel like a dick for doing it. And then you have this two pack here, the Korg and Grandmaster. Why couldn't this been like a Korg and a Meek two pack? It, 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 it even charged 50 bucks for it. I don't really give a shit. I'm going to wait for it to go on clearance anyways. Because they knew that they were going to remake this. Like, that's what sucks. This is why Hasbro can suck a dick. Because they do stupid shit like this. They make a figure. You buy this. And then right after you buy it, they they, they put it in another two-pack with another single figure that they need. And there's, they're not embarrassed or ashamed or nothing. Like, they're totally cool with doing dick stupid shit like that. Man, it really pisses me off. He's a cool figure. Hopefully you got him in the two-pack too for you can get that other one. This is really a cool figure. Hopefully you got this on clearance. You weren't dumb enough to pay full rip on it. You just saw it and you're like, oh, it's 50 bucks. I got to get it on my shelf right now because if I don't, I might die. God, I think I got this thing for like 20 bucks or 50 bucks. I definitely came up on that, so that was a nice one. Then you have this two-pack way back here, this Captain America one. I guess I could have pulled out a, a cap for a comparison. I do have some old, some old caps. Maybe I'll pull a couple out for the pictures in the back of the video. And the Peggy Carter, she's she's cool. She's a cool figure. It's not a figure I ever wanted to ask for. She does have the pantyhose lines on the back of the legs. I thought that was a nice little touch. 
She looks good. Nothing wrong with this. It's just, who gives a shit? Were you guys going, oh my god, I, I really hope we get that Peggy Carter figure. That would be so awesome if we got that. Like, not 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 anybody out there wanted this figure, but we got it. And and it was expensive, 50 bucks for a two-pack. I got it for, I think, 40 shipped. So it, not a great deal, but at least I, I was comfortable. I didn't really feel like I got ripped off. The gun comes out of the holster. Thought I had a knife. Oh, yeah, and a knife in the boot. It's, it's a nice cap. It comes with two different heads. You take the helmet off, and it also comes with this other shield. Oops, sorry about that. I went ahead and went with the classic shield. But it's nice to get that silver shield, finally. And you could do this head or this head, which, eh, it's, like, mediocre. We'll go ahead and look at this Iron Man real quick. Man, I'm burning through this shit. So you probably already have this figure. He's right here. Let me back it up. It's the same figure, except for when you bought this, you're wishing they would have made this. But of course they make this first because they knew that this thing was coming out. So they're like, hey, we'll get them twice. We'll make them by this. Then after everybody buys it, which we did, then they'll make this. And then you get this super cool one with all these cool accessories. He also comes with the shield. It's like take your pick on how which cool way you want to display them. I love the blasters on the hand. I love the blast effect, same blast effect they use all the time. And then I love this thing that comes up behind them. Definitely cool, like I know the figure arts ones and all those other ones are way better. But I just get tired of spending, you know, 80 bucks on an action figure. Sometimes it's kind of nice to only spend 20 bucks. Wait, this was a two-pack, and the two-pack was 50 bucks, so 55 bucks. It came with a Spider-Man, and I actually paid full rip on this because I just figured this was a hot item, and I didn't really see this thing going to clearance anytime soon, and I have never seen it go on clearance He's two-packed with this Spider-Man, the Spider-Man that you really wanted. This is the one that we first got. This thing comes with a different head. This is the unmasked head. I went ahead and put it on an old one that I have, so I have an unmasked um, Iron Spidey. And now I have one all geared up with the arms out. So this is this doesn't really sting that bad because I can display him two ways. I want I actually want both of these figures in my collection. He comes with these arms. They have articulation. They work decent. They feel like they're going to break every time you move it. So be really careful. It's just, you know, 50 bucks for two figures. It just sucks that I really wanted these two. And they already sold us both of these figures in a version that we didn't want. So Hasbro, once again, you guys can suck a dick because that's kind of bullshit when you do stuff like that. Oh, I forgot that I had an extra Scarlet Witch back here. This is the original one, the first one for the six inch line. I actually think this is a really good figure. I love the cloth cape. I love the lack of articulation because it's a female figure. It actually looks kind of good. Yeah, the head's a little weird, but back then all the heads looked a little weird. Moving through, we got this ghost two pack right here. This is one I actually got really excited about. I remember when we were sitting at the con panel, I was like, oh great, a figure that we already have with a figure we need, but a figure with a new head and Sharp goes, no, this is like an all new everything. Like this is good. And I go, well, I guess it is. I looked at a few other suited bodies. And for the most part, this does look like a brand new action figure. And it's an action figure I actually really want in my collection. So I thought this was a really cool two pack. If this was 40 bucks and not 50 bucks, I would have bought it the day it came out. But you put a $50 price tag on it, well, now I'm going to wait it out. And I ended up getting it for 20 bucks. So you guys want to play that game, I'll play it too. I don't really give a shit. Comes with some really cool accessories. I love the building thing. The, the handle goes down, but it doesn't go down all the way. But it would be cool if it didn't. But that would require more engineering and more care on their part, but they don't. But one of the coolest accessories I've ever seen them do is she also comes with a mask, that unmasked head. And I always bitch in my videos, if you're going to give me an unmasked head, give me a hood that will fold down. And they did. They actually did. The thing with it is that I didn't buy two of these, and I'd much rather display it this way than this way. So this is going in the drawer, but I'm glad they did it. For the guys that want to display it this way, at least you have that option, or if you're suckers and you did get two, well then you can do that also. Because you could always use an extra suited body and put a different head on that. So it wouldn't be bad, and it also comes with an ant. Then you have this helipack back here. This is the new one. I just dropped it. This is the old, this is um. This is the old head. This thing looks like shit. So I took the head that she comes with, I put it on the old one that I have, which I wanted to get two of these when these first came out because I wanted to display it two different ways with the masked and unmasked. But and I never saw this thing on clearance and I refused to pay full price. So I put the good head on this one. You can see 
Like that head sculpt and paint is absolutely amazing. They killed it on that. Other than that, it's basically the same toy. There's two slightly different colors. Not really a difference that matters. And she also comes with this other head. I thought this was like the head that when she crushed that hammer until she transformed and put that head on. And then those guys ran away like a couple of bitches. She also comes with a little fire magic effect. And then you have um, Scourge. And she also comes with an extra hand here. He comes with two other hands where he can hold his axe. Heaven forbid they actually put axe storage in there. I went ahead and put one of those little clear rubber bands that you see in these packages. Put that around there. That's my axe storage because that axe is way too cool to put in the drawer. And so are these machine guns. This is a figure that I wanted and I was like, God, you know, it's just really, you know, I want an executioner. And then they call him Scourge and they fucked everything up and just made everything weird. I'm happy to have this in my collection. I am. God, that was a... God, we got a lot done in a small amount of time. It's Christmas Eve, guys. Stick around for the pictures if you give a shit. If not, you guys have a really good Christmas. I appreciate all of you. Thanks for watching. Christmas Bash 2019. Let's do this.